Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to explain about the basic dental examination instruments. So this is an examination tray. In this tray there are three basic examination instruments. This is the mouth mirror, this is the explorer, and this is the tweezer. Now the mouth mirror is one of the most important tool in the dental examination set. The mouth mirrors, they are available in different sizes, small, medium, and large. This one is the medium one. The, the, these mouth mirrors are also available in different shapes. For example, this is a round one. So they are available in D shape, they are available in U shape, and etc. There are plane mirrors. For example, this is a plane mirror. There are some mirrors that magnify the size of the object. Now, this, these mirrors, they are used to retract soft tissue, so you can protect the soft tissue during a, a dental procedure. Secondly, you can also use it for indirect visions, vision. For example, you can use this mirror to see the upper maxillary arc. The second instrument, this is the explorer, that is also known as the dental probe. Now, there are two probes. This is the sickle probe, sometimes referred as the Sheffield probe. And this probe is sometimes referred as the Briald probe. The dental probes are used for evaluation of the marginal fit of restoration. So you can see that the margins of the restorations, they are well adapted with the tooth structure. They are also used for evaluation of root surfaces and furcations. And they are also used for detection of dental caries when the caries are in, in the initial stages. Secondly, these explorers can be used to detect caries on the mesial and the distal sides of the tooth. So the third instrument is the tweezer. This tweezer is also known as the this, uh, this tweezer is also known as a cotton plier. In this tweezer, you can see the beaks are serrated so you can see actually um, one minute the beaks are serrated so these tweezers they are used uh, for the placement or removal of the cotton rolls wedges are small instruments uh, so they can be easily removed either from the oral cavity or uh, if you want to pick them from the examination tray fabrication material these all instruments are made up of stainless steel. Alternatively, there are instruments that are made up of plastics. They are also known as the disposable instruments. Now, these in stainless steel instruments, they have certain advantages. For example, they can be reused again and again after proper disinfection and sterilization. So they are cost effective. But at the same time, there is a chance of cross infection if proper protocols of sterilization and disinfection are not followed. Now, for the plastic instruments, they have they also have certain advantages. For example, uh, in busy dental practices, you can use these instruments, or when you are in the field, uh, so you can use these instruments. Uh, but uh, they can also be used for patients uh, who are who have uh, certain diseases, for example, HIV or hepatitis, or uh, if there is any risk of some disease. So you can use uh, these instruments in, in those patients. But definitely, uh, they are more expensive as compared to the uh, plastic instrument, as compared to the stainless steel instruments. The stainless steel examination instruments, they are sterilized in an autoclave and the usual protocol that is followed is at 121 degrees centigrade for 15, um, at 15 pounds per square inch pressure for around for 24 minutes. While uh, these plastic instruments that are made up of plastic, they are pre-sterilized actually with the ethylene oxide gas. So here, it is written as they are sterile, sterile instruments that are pre-sterilized with ethylene oxide gas. 
but uh, they cannot be reused again. So ethylene oxide is basically, it is used to sterilize plastics and rubbers. Now, the parts of instrument, every instrument has uh, three parts. For example, this part is the working end, this part is the shank, and this is the handle. So in this instrument, in this instrument, both of the ends are the working ends. So here it is a working end. Here it is Briled probe. And this one is a sickle probe, sometimes referred as a shepherd hook. So the one must be very careful when handling with these instruments with two working ends because there is a chance of uh, trauma to, uh, to an individual. So one must be very careful while handling the instruments that have two working ends, two sharp working ends. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please give us your feedback in form of comments and like and please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.